Senator Inhofe, thank you so much for joining us. Based on what you have heard now from the Obama administration and seen for yourself as a, as a key senator, what do you think really happened on the ground in Syria? Well, I think on the ground in Syria that they assume it's Assad who's responsible for the gassing of uh, a lot of people. Uh, very similar to what we went through with Saddam uh, way back in, in Iraq uh, when they did the same thing to the Kurds in the north. So based on the fact that you believe it happened, that there was some kind of gas or chemical attack there, do you support the kind of limited action that seems to be on the table right now? No, I, I don't. And the reason I don't, John, is uh, I am the ranking member on the Senate Armed Services Committee. I've watched what's happened in the last four and a half years with the president down, downgrading our military. And it's, it's uh, to the point where we're in a position right now where we don't have the assets to get involved in another, another uh, intervention. So your opposition, it's really just based on funding? You don't think that a chemical weapons attack is a dire enough event to demand a response? I said yesterday at that hearing, I said, if you guys sell this idea, even though I'm opposed to it, I said to John Kerry, make sure, and, and to uh, Secretary Hagel, make sure that you tell us how you're going to pay for it, what resources you're going to use, what assets you're going to use, and that they're there. Uh, I'm still opposed to it because I know that we don't have the assets to do it. And to be clear, there would be a price tag on this. A Tomahawk missile can cost up to $1.5 million. So any kind of effort, however limited, would be expensive. But also to be clear, you know, you, you did seem to feel differently about the threat of chemical weapons in the run-up to the Iraq war in 2002-2003. You did support that effort, which turned out to be incredibly expensive. You said at the time, you know, if you needed a smoking gun, we've got it in the chemical warheads that the intelligence community at that point said that Saddam Hussein had. So, so why is the situation now different? You're, Go ahead. John, you're, you're exactly right. The difference is we were a very healthy military at that time. We had the assets, we had the resources to go anywhere that we wanted to go to do the things that we felt in our mind were right. That's not the situation today. Yes, it'd be very nice, it could be clean, you go in, you strike once, you send a cruise missile in, all the problems over, you wash your hands and it's over. That's not the way it happens, I think we all understand that. We really need to hear from the president what his broad perspective is, his plan for the Middle East, and how his military intervention will, will be a part of it. Do you think that the U.S. takes a hit in terms of credibility if it doesn't act now? You know, I don't really, I, I don't know. Uh, apparently, Great Britain didn't think that. And, uh, and so, I, and by the way, that uh, announcement came during the hour and a half um, uh, of persuasion of John Kerry. Uh, that happened right in the middle of that, uh, that, uh, that uh, hour and a half phone call. And so uh, I, I think that people are looking at it and saying there are, there's a serious problem. Everyone feels the same way about the tragedy that takes place there, the same as we did about gassing the Kurds in the north in Iraq. And it's, uh, it was a bad, you know, these are horrible things that are going on right now. Senator Inhofe, thanks so much for your time. Have a terrific holiday weekend. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you, John.